Hello, everybody. Welcome to Zero Dark Nerdy, the world's most notorious pop culture podcast. The filthiest of the filthy. This is your boy, Brian, <laughs> a.k.a. El Nino. And today I'm joined with Mateo, a.k.a. Brown Summer. <laughs> and we got in the well studio via satellite whatever it may be good old kelsey flower who played lance in black summer kelsey how are you doing today my friend good guys thanks for having me hey man thank you for uh for for joining us so you know while uh while we have you here uh obviously you know we, we've seen you in black summer and there is going to be spoilers ahead out there, so we are going to warn you. Um, and I don't know what you're not doing. You know, you should be watching Black Summer. It should already finish season two. Spin out, guys. Yo, yeah. get into it. So, <laughs> fuck the spoilers. Let's just have a good time with it. Exactly. Mr. <laughs> exactly. Flower. That's right. So, um, you know, when it, when it came to Black Summer, tell me a little bit about the process as far as, like, the audition uh, you know, and obviously it was, it's filmed in the, in your hometown. So I know that had to be pretty cool, but what was that like, as far as just the audition process was Lance, the character that you originally auditioned for and, you know, just kind of go from there. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, you always hear in this business, it's like, it's all who, you know, and who the networking, they just don't tell you it. It doesn't pay off for probably about 10 years. Um, but I had done a film with a guy, uh, Jason Juan Lim, who ended up being the line producer for Black Summer. And I was just back in Calgary visiting him. And uh, I was like, so what's you got going on? He's like, well, I'm trying to get this little zombie show to Calgary. And being an actor, you're like, oh, is there a part? Is there a part for me? Is there a part for me? <laughs> right. You know? So so he's like, he's like, maybe, man. Like, actually, like, and then like a week later, he's like, man, there's this, this part, this guy named Lance you might be right for. Um, so then, uh, so then I emailed my agents and, uh, got an audition for it and, uh, yeah, it turned out, I guess it went pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said, like, did they go ahead and give you the heads up? Like, cause you of all people, I was telling Matthew this, I don't think I've ever seen anyone run as much in a yeah. zombie show <laughs> movie trilogy. I mean, you are running your ass off in this thing. Like, did they the let number. you know, like, Hey, we see that you like mountain biking. We see that you're very outdoorsy. Yeah. Like how much do you enjoy running? Cause you're going to be doing a shitload of it. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I, luckily I knew the stunt coordinator on it, uh, Adrian Young and he, uh, I had done a play with him when I was living in Calgary and he, he kind of just texted me off the side being like, yo man, cardio. I'm just saying like, <laughs> cardio right now. Cause I'm like, I I'm, I'm decently active, but I love beer. I love tacos, man. That's yeah. what I was doing. <laughs> uh, and nothing can really prepare you for, for that kind of, cause it's, you know, every time you see me sprint, you know, that was like at least, eight to 12 times wow. that one scene and and you and the costume with the layers and the jean jacket and the van shoes so yeah. uh, I, not I exactly know. under armor <laughs> not, not quite yeah i should have been drinking beer the whole time i think <laughs> but yeah it was a good uh i got my steps in i'll yeah. say that <laughs> it, it sure looked like it brother oh my goodness <laughs> matt what you got <laughs> i mean it's pretty impressive yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh man um, yeah. yeah so are you into i saw you also um did amityville right oh the amityville which project yes mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. yes oh, oh man <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we stalked it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Deep dive. I love it. I love it. <laughs> you, um, so, is horror your thing, or you're open to anything, or you know, it's so funny. Like, I'm a, I'm a scaredy cat when it comes to horror. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly, like I I will watch it, and I and it, there's some amazing work out there. But I will have nightmares. I gotta sleep with a nightlight kind of thing. Uh, like, it, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really scared, <laughs> but I just keep getting cast in horror things. And like I like Black Summer, I was face cast, explored, like, huh? my yeah, I know it's like typecast. <laughs> <laughs> but Black Summer was like my fifth zombie show, and then Amityville Witch Project was just a, a fun little thing I was doing with my roommates here in Toronto, um, just kind of for fun. Um, so I guess I'm just attracted <laughs> somehow. My subconscious is subtracted to uh, horror films. 
<laughs> That's how you beat the nightmares. You just got to keep submersing yourself. Yeah, you got to conquer your fears, right? Yeah, exactly. You're still <laughs> working. Go skydiving. Exactly. <laughs> Are you down to one night light now? You still have the two, or <laughs> I still got the two. You don't want to rush these things, Brian. You don't want to rush this. <laughs> Baby steps. <laughs> Love it. So uh, I meant to ask you that. It's funny you mentioned that. Did, did Zambu's did that kind of prepare you a little bit for Black Summer? <laughs> Man, that's so funny. Um, uh, I guess a tiny bit, but uh, it, 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 they are polar opposites. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Genre wise. Um, but I did have to do a lot of running in Zambu's, coincidentally enough. Um, but uh, yeah, I got used to. So there was that. I, I, until Black Summer, I had my comedic zombie relationship. And then uh, Black Summer happened and it was the opposite. So <laughs> I'm familiar with zombies. I just can't laugh at him anymore. <laughs> Not in this show. I tell you what, it, it is probably, as far as the way they shoot it, one of the most kind of intense shows I've ever seen. Like even more so than Black Mirror, which usually gets my anxiety on like ten, but Black yeah. Summer is right there with it. Just the suspense, and like I said, it's shot very similar to me, almost kind of like a Call of Duty, just as far as a lot of the shots are, where you're you feel like you're right there. And is that yeah. something that they wanted to like instill from, I mean, cause the first episode, I just love the storylines and how it all goes back to that car that's on fire and it's just, you know, it's not your it typical together, show. Like, crash. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Very, very solid mm -hmm. point. So is that something like they let you know, and like kind of upfront, like, Hey, listen, this is not going to be your, your walking dead. Like it's going to have this totally more terrifying feel, but with these stories that kind of internet in, in, interconnect throughout the episodes. Uh, yeah, they, they gave us a little bit of it, but it's until like you, until you see it on the screen, you don't actually fully know like what they're going after. And when you see, I mean, it's so nice, even as an actor, even when you're there, like we're all seeing it on screen for the first time too. And I, you get to view this thing as an audience member. And I was also blown away. And, and it's funny you mentioned that because I've heard a lot of people compare it to a video game type feel where it's just mm -hmm. so intense and it's go, go, go. And I heard that the, the, the guys, the creators of, you know, John Himes, uh, they were kind of looking for actors who had a bit of theater experience because there's a lot of one, as you guys know, a lot of one takes and a lot of long action and choreography. So they kind of were attracted to actors who had some kind of long form uh, training. Um, which was just so cool to see and so uh, so nice that I had done a bit of theater. <laughs> <laughs> it, it definitely, definitely shows up. Evil Dead the Musical trained me for... Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. That's yeah, awesome. I did not know that was a thing. Uh, yeah, I didn't, well, I knew it was a thing, but no, that that's great. Oh, you you guys gotta go sit in the splatter zone. It's it's a fun time. <laughs> you had me at splatter. Yeah, <laughs> had me at Evil Dead. Now yeah, if now I had a nickel. Had <laughs> <laughs> so, as far as you know, upcoming projects that you have coming up, are you are you going back to theater? I, I, obviously, I, we've seen on Instagram. You're a hell of a musician, by the way. You got a great voice. Oh singing i didn't know if you had like an album coming out as well like you're kind of the dual thread and then of course you add the the sprinting on there you could be on the olympic theme as well <laughs> so you know just out of yeah, curiosity, I, what is next <laughs> i just didn't make it this summer olympics I was, I was right there man um now man that's well thank you very much for the compliment um it's uh it, it's funny uh you know i mean uh the pandemic pretty well quashed theater for a while, but I would really love to go back and do that. It was kind of my first love uh, of acting and everything. And, but also the, uh, you know, the pandemic really kind of shed light on like, what, what are the things that you want? And it's funny that you think uh, that you say an album, cause I've kind of decided and I've hooked up with a producer and I really would like to uh, make an EP um, and release it uh, hopefully sometime this year. Um, so, uh, and it's cause it's really nice to have that kind of creative itch that has nothing to do with acting. Um, but, and I can, you know, it's so nice with the music, you can do it every day. Do yeah. you have a catalog, like, uh, some stuff built up that you can actually put out? Well, I, I yeah, I, I have two songs recorded right now. Um, we're just kind of mixing and mastering them this, and this is all new to me. I don't even really know what mastering is or mixing. <laughs> Uh -huh. I mean, I know mixing when it comes to drinks, but other than that, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but it, uh, it, uh, so I have a couple of recorded. I'm, I'm hoping to get uh, four recorded for the EP, but I ended up writing about 18 songs over the pandemic. Wow. And, uh, and uh, I think about five of them are good. So I think uh, <laughs> I'd love to uh, uh, record them just, just purely for fun. Sure. 
Sure. And I'll tell you what, when you drop that EP, let us know. We'll have you back on the show and pump yeah, the hell out of it. Cause I love um, watching the my boys. Yeah. We're going to have some Canadian beers and uh, yes. celebrate. It. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got a couple other uh, of their film projects coming up, but I can't talk too much about them oh, right now, good. but uh, yeah. Will yeah. you be running? <laughs> I, that's in my contract. I, oh, I have to run at all times. You just have to shorten the takes. <laughs> at all times. All right, you get two takes. You better get you it get right. You get two takes. That, that's, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Well, I, and it's so funny because they were so passionate. The like uh, Abram Cox is one of the other uh, co-directors yeah. for it, and uh, just one of the takes, one of my favorite directions he ever gave me, it was like, "All right, we're gonna have you running down the street." And I was like, "Okay, where do you want me to go?" He's like, uh, "Just, just go to the horizon and just, just keep going." <laughs> And Abraham. I was running. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm going to need a Gatorade. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of Gatorade, I'm glad you brought that up. Do you have anything in your, in your like rider or whatever, as far as in your trailer, like you have to have like any must haves as far as just snacks and candy or drinks or anything like that? I, I don't, I don't have anything uh, fancy, like other than just, you know, like water and like right. just essentials and and i'm an irish fella so sunscreen is a, is a, <laughs> is a, is a i think i'm sunburning right now i'm getting a little <laughs> uh, but uh other than that although i will say i will say I'm, i've become a huge fan of the the bubbly you know it's kind of like the the La Croix drinks mm -hmm, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know because you feel healthy you know you're the you know you can have a six pack in a can that's what feel it feels like healthy <laughs> Yeah. real healthy yeah <laughs> I mean, like truly's mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah yeah it's like a white cloth perfect <laughs> <laughs> so do you feel prepared for a zombie apocalypse mm. oh man not at all I, although, <laughs> although i will say i bet my cardio is much better now so <laughs> I, I got the running thing down but uh you know lance uh i connected with lance and i on many levels when i i think a few people have it was like if we're all, we all want to be spears but most of us are lance yeah, yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you have a a favorite scene that you shot uh and it just kind of it, it, like i guess maybe two-part question because i love the scene at the, at the finale of season one where you guys are trying to make the stadium so I guess kind of two part A, you know, is that one of your favorite scenes and B, how much fun is it like to play with the guns and get to learn how to shoot them and, and try to make it look as natural as possible? Oh man, I, I do really love that scene. I, um, that, uh, the one where I'm running around the stadium, um, was shot at uh, McMahon stadium in Calgary, Okay. which I, I, uh, I, uh, as a kid, like I love the Calgary Stampeders. So, and like, I got to invite my, basically my whole family to come watch that day. Nice. So that was super special for me uh, just with that. And there's lots of zombies and, and it was, there's lots of smoke and all that stuff. So that was pretty special for me just to be like, to come back to this place, have my family watching. Um, there's a, a, the, I mean, the episode uh, four, mm -hmm. which was kind of just me and the zombie. And that was the first thing I had ever shot on black summer that was the oh, wow. first thing i did and it was basically just me and abram um and and the other the, the stunt guy chad um just kind of running around and it was just it felt so intimate and so special um so it's hard to pick a favorite scene but that last scene and i think the library um kind of where the guy saves my oh, life oh yeah I see, I see he's been bit and i kind of have to take matters into my own hands <laughs> um was just so uh uh, uh, just felt very uh, transformative for the character and and fun as the actor, but there was just a lot of uh, a lot of great moments in that that whole season, which was so fun. Yeah, I gotta think that you know, if you're if you know the guy's name, it's a little easier, right? It's not as scary. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. But he, <laughs> but he got into it, man. He like. The, the the stunt guys that we worked with were also phenomenal actors, man. They scared the shit good. out. Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> and he's a stunt guy, so he's quite in good shape. And I was uh, not as good as in shape. And uh, <laughs> a little movie magic to think that I could outrun him. <laughs> That's rad. Oh, man. So, um, Matthew, if you can think of something else, I'm going to pull up some of the uh, fan questions real quick. Okay. <laughs> Pressure's on, man. Are you a 
Canadian citizen or United States? A Canadian citizen. Canadian yeah. citizen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So you, so you had to stay at your parents' house while everybody else was put up in a hotel. What was up with that? Okay. They, they, they were just like, yeah, you're on the show, but here's the deal. You don't get to stay in the hotel. Well, it was just kind of, it's one of those things where it's like, it was like, oh man, I'd love to be a part of this. Like, um, and they, they, and I was like, hey, I can, I can work as a local um, just to make it a little more intriguing to cast me. And, uh, and so they cast me as a local, which means they, you know, they're not room in the budget for, uh, for. Uh, hey, it got you on the show, so. Well, exactly. And I, and I do it, I do it again and again and again, but it was still, uh, you know hanging out in the parents basement and then <laughs> <laughs> a badass day of killing but, zombies and running and shit and then exactly, yeah, going from a, <laughs> to, totally and just you know kind of like being on the phone with those guys being like yo what are you guys doing I, my, my mom could drive me down what's up <laughs> i think uh, my curfew is extended yeah <laughs> I got my allowance this week. Let's go. <laughs> so speaking of which, I mean, especially by the pictures on your Instagram, it, it looked like you and the cast like just had a blast. I mean, did you guys kind of hit it off from the first table read or did it take a little bit to work up to? Because especially by the end of it, I mean, you guys definitely look like just a, a tight knit family and the behind the scenes stuff that we saw. Oh, man, it was I felt so fortunate, but it was pretty well instantaneous. Nice. I think they really just had they had the kind of luxury of being able to cast con like they really wanted like no names uh really i mean other than of course jamie king mm -hmm. um uh, but they 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 just gave so many people a chance to uh they just cast people truly who were right for the role and 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 people and it really gave people a shot that you know people had been working but uh it was a lot of our big big first project and we all kind of really bonded with that. There, we all kind of were in the trenches together a little bit sometimes, which can really bond you. And they're just all very, very kind, uh, 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 kind people. And just we, everyone was just so excited to be there. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, and uh, you know, I got them to show them around the sweet spots in Calgary, so they needed me. So they had to. <laughs> yeah. Tour guide. There you go. The tour guy. You know. Yeah. 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 Tubby dog. You gotta go. <laughs> Shout out to Tubby Dog. How um, how, how soon did you know how far you would get in season two? Oh man, it took it a long time. I mm -hmm. I don't know uh, exactly how long it took, but you it, knew it, there would be a season was, two. I I found that there would be a season two. I think I think about I think it was like eight months after the premiere. Um, and then, and then it was literally that thing of like getting sent the script and reading it and being like, oh, <laughs> wait, wait, is that okay? But is it a flashback? Or, wait, what uh, kind of thing? But uh, it was, uh, and you get, and that's, you just, that's kind of the way it goes. Sometimes everyone gets sent the script and John Himes, uh, he was kind enough to phone me up and be like, so here's the deal. <laughs> uh, but uh, so it took it took a while for me to find out, but I was just very happy to be coming back at all. Back, yeah, uh, yeah. Awesome. And then hopefully, you know, just like you said, some flashbacks because, you know, I mean, you did kind of get split up from the group. So we'd like to see. I was dying to know. I was like, well, what were you doing the whole time besides just siphoning gas? Because, I mean, yeah. obviously there's more to it. Me so too. <laughs> <laughs> get to writing, brother. Yeah. Listen up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, no, I'd love, uh, you yeah. know, and, and it's just like, and, but, it, you know, obviously I was, I was uh, disappointed because it's just such, it's so rare to work with so many people that you love. Right. But it's right. also the reason that show has got such a little, got the hit and the notoriety it did was because those guys just stuck to their vision and just were non-apologetic about their vision. And that's the people you want to work with. And those are the people that make great things. Love it. Was there a hometown premiere? Like a big yeah, we we the first season we got to do like a screening, a little screening of the first episode in a bar. It, it was basically like the, the, the rap party. Okay. Uh, we got to do it in one of the bars that I was familiar with. So it felt like a homecoming thing, but it was it was pretty intimate, but it was it was still pretty fun to see everything. Right on. Nice. Nice.
Um, so one of the questions from one of the fans, you kind of answered already. This is from uh, on Instagram, Felicia dot Ray W R A Y. I hope that's how you say it. When can I expect an album of your vocal chops? Release something <laughs> soon. <laughs> so, oh wow! Like, oh, like that's said, you, got, you, got, you got more fans you than just following. us out there. Man, I can I screw chops. this acting thing. I can't. <laughs> It's just a side thing uh, for you now. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't hear the whole handle, but I think uh, Felicia, if it's the right Felicia, she's been our number one fan for like from like day one. Nice. She's a lovely, lovely. Well, person. you planted her. No, right? Yeah, yeah. That's my mom. Make sure actually, you yeah. my <laughs> mom, mom, read a handle. Yeah, yeah, it's your mom. Okay. Uh, I think I, I, I owe my mom. Not Lance's months. mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag no, Lance's mom 62. There you go. And I will um, say this too. This was honestly the most questions we've gotten for for anything we've ever like, hey, you know, what do you want to ask? So there was like a bunch of people chiming in. So I had to kind of narrow it down a little bit. So and oh, you've answered great. a bunch of them. But that oh, was uh, yeah. Uh well, hopefully sometime this year. That that's the that's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And this one is from Pia uh, underscore Delpo. In the same situation, would you take similar decisions as the one your character made? Uh, also from my, I think it was my dad, uh, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd hope, I'd hope, you know, we, this is all hypothetical. I would hope I'd be a little more um, uh, cognizant of closing doors behind me. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, maybe, uh, you know, being a little more uh, dexteric with the axe in my hand. Yeah. Mm. Um, but uh, I really, uh, I, I would probably be pretty close. So, uh, you know, when, when that scene where Lance is like shopping because he's so dehydrated and he's so desperate for normal and um, I probably would grab, you know, the Miller Lite and the Shreddies as well, you know? So. Of course, of course. <laughs> Don't <go>. blame you. <laughs> I mean, uh, delicious combination. There you go. Uh, and again, you know, a lot of these questions you already answered, but I want to give shout outs. Justice for Lance yeah. asked about your favorite memory from filming. Justice for Lance. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's one of the fan pages, which is awesome. <laughs> We're I was making like, oh, t-shirts. Cool yeah. <laughs> there you go. More and more plants yeah. in there. That was your cousin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, trying to make a dime on S T O P H X N. I don't. I don't know how to say that, but asked about upcoming projects, which you answered, and then uh, you answered about being killed off, and that was from Stephen Joskier. And again, big thank you to all our fans out there for for Kelsey as well as uh, you know here on Zero Dark Nerdy for for bringing in the questions. So, um, just a quick little kind of I don't want to say intermission. How's your dog Max doing? My dog Max. Oh well, he's he's uh, you know uh, all dogs go to heaven, you know, uh -huh. so, you know, you know. So he's he's been rocking up there uh, for uh, oh man, five years now. Oh man, goodness gracious! Sorry, I got some bad information oh, on that. All good, all good, brother. Yeah, way to bring up old yeah, shit. Shit, God. Yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Now let's bring up something else. <laughs> Ooh, I need to check my sources again. So uh, I, I was watching a YouTube clip um, when you were a guest with with uh, Erica. Is is it How? How uh, her last name? Erica How. Yeah. Yeah. How? Um, who plays Carmen on the show? When you yeah. were on Noches con Platanito, the yeah, Spanish show. Yeah. Platanito. That's it. <laughs> so uh, how how was that? And uh, you know, I saw you. It was a lot of head nodding, obviously. But you were. I mean, I thought you were doing great. But just initially, like, what was your kind of reaction to being like, all right, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> Yeah, it was a lot of like, what is this? What did, oh, yeah, what's good? They know I don't speak any Spanish, right? right? Like, let's be very clear. Um, and they <laughs> they were just so friendly, and the, the team was so fun. Um, and and also Erica being there too was yeah. a huge like, okay, let's do this together. Uh, her and I got along super well, and it was just a nice excuse. And one of the films I a short film I had uh, written and produced was happened to be in uh, in a Newport Beach Film Festival, mm -hmm. and so the timing just worked out really well. Um, so I was like, "Oh well, I, let's let's do it, let's do it." And I gotta say, it was one of the most fun experiences I've had. They were so kind. Um, the like, I was pretty impressed because I'm wearing an earpiece the whole time. Yeah. So he says a question in Spanish, and then someone quickly translates it in English. Yeah. And then I gotta go, and then and then the game was just me throwing pies at 
zombie chickens. So like <laughs> a better way to s- spend a Sunday afternoon, you know, it was, it was so fun. And they, they were all so lovely. Nice. Nice. Is that, is that something that, you know, you personally enjoy as an actor is doing the uh, publicity, you know, kind of touring kind of thing. Cause I know it, some, some people hate it. Some love it. Some, you know, love and hate it. I mean, how do you feel about it? it it's, it's so subjective to, sure. uh, to each interview and like to spend like for instance this is so laid back and so fun and you can actually talk like a human being mm-hmm. uh, you yeah. know and, and, <laughs> th- and that show was really good it's, it's the calculated stuff but to be honest I haven't done a lot of it um, mm-hmm. but all the stuff that I've been able to do uh, has been really fun and it's fun to talk about it and fun to hear uh, people reacting to work that you've done and put a lot of hard work into um as so for the most part it's it's I, i've enjoyed it so far nice nice Excellent. who's your favorite band oh good question my favorite band um oof. you know what i i i i uh i i go i have a wide array of favorite bands but uh i was to just to uh, represent uh my canadian boys the arkells uh they're from hamilton and there's some uh, just an awesome, uh, uh, just like garage band style. And I'm super, I'm, I'm going to sound super old, but I don't get the, like computerized, synthesized electronic stuff. And that's fine if you do, but I like give me a bass, a guitar and some drums anytime. Uh, so the Arkells, and, and they will be the uh, first band I see outside of the pandemic, which is uh, I'm nice. very much looking forward to. Awesome. Awesome. So, uh, you know, speaking of which, too, I, I obviously I know it's a little bit different in Canada than in the U.S. How are things now as far as recently with the, you know, pandemic, even though there's a whole Delta thing, but, you know, are things pretty much opening back up, like kind of getting back to normal? Like what's that been like uh, uh, up in the north? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cold really killed it all. We, you know, <laughs> Isn't that the honest? I take my, you know, the, the sled dogs to my igloo. It's it's pretty, pretty black. <laughs> <laughs> uh no it, uh, uh it, it's been uh yeah slow going but uh the, the vaccine numbers are just so are just climbing up and up uh for sure so uh, of course we have the delta here which is scary but just our numbers for vaccinations are just going up and up and i live in toronto which has been the slowest to uh reopen but um things are starting to slowly creep back to normal for sure gotcha Gotcha. Some pretty people in Toronto. Yeah. Yeah. I Thank you there. so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was specifically talking about that beard. Thank you. Yeah. Some pretty beards. In That's a good looking beard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, who are, who are some uh, actors and actresses that, you know, you looked up to coming up in the game and, you know, who you now still consider just inspirations? Oh, man. Um, so, I Sam Rockwell has always been my guy. <laughs> Nice. Sam, Sam Rockwell is just every single thing he touches from moon to like Charlie's angels. He's, he's just like a guy that you just can't ignore. Um, every time uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, I, I can't get enough of. Um, and uh, like, even in like, uh, was, it, was he in dead poets? Was it dead poet society where he was, or no, uh, scent of a woman. Mm-hmm. Uh, where he's like the young student and even in that scene where he's in like only a couple scenes and it's just like what is who is this guy um and i've always uh, and of course like like it, it's cliche to say but meryl streep is insane yeah she she, she can do no wrong and i she's just i it, it's it's not even like i want to be that it's just like i just want i'm glad that exists because <laughs> I, I don't know got the worship it's, glow man oh, like yeah. you just can't deny yeah, it i'm glowing right now just thinking uh. about it. Yeah. <laughs> meryl streep season three black summer <laughs> let's do it let's do it queen zombie the campaign starts now Oh man, well that's that's like the majority of my questions, man. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's it's, it's been really yeah. Great. This has been awesome. I really, I wish you. I had more. It's just so awesome to talk to you. It's super laid back. So come to Greensboro. Yeah. We'll have a yeah. Beer. If you're ever in North Carolina, please, Lord, let us know. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. No, you guys have been a pleasure to talk to, man. It's it's super laid back and super fun. And at, hey, when the EP drops, you know, yes, hey, we'll hey, any, anytime you want to come on, it doesn't party. have to just be for the EP. You can come on the show anytime. So, oh, oh, yes, let's do it. Like, <laughs> yeah, when the ready, the 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 world doesn't have enough of sad breakup songs. You know, we, we need it. We need that in our lives. <laughs> there you go. Well, actually, one one quick question from us. This is something we always ask our guests in in terms of pop culture you know what are some genres whether movies tv shows video games whatever it may be like what are just some of your your all-time favorites Oof! oh man um all-time favorites um I mean, there's always like i mean like growing up i like we had like two movies in our house and it was like grease and forrest gump um <laughs> and those so Not like bad. Nostalgia, yeah, no, pretty good, right? I think yeah. Camelot was in there as well. Uh, but uh, so I, I just really, um, those ones nostalgically are just so in in me for sure. Um, like many, many people, The Office was a game changer for me for just like, oh my God, you can really do crazy, goofy comedy mixed with heartfelt, incredible acting. And that which did you see first? The British or the U.S.? Uh, I I watched a bit of the uh, British and then and then uh, I was, then I don't know if I, I it was kind of mixed. I kind of watched them at the same time um, mm-hmm. a little bit because I kind of discovered them almost at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, and but they're just so so different by the end of uh, <laughs> by, by when they both find their groove. Um, but uh, the the American Office is just just so perfect in my book um i mean the british office is incredible as well but that's the one that uh, there's just a lot more hope and heart i think (laughs) in the uh (laughs) in the american one um and then most recently um i don't know if you're familiar with uh, bo burnham but his new special uh inside just came out and i i think i've watched it four times now just to i was thinking of that when you were talking about how many songs you've written yeah and you know, in this pandemic, yeah. and his, that's his whole oh, thing. Yeah. Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> oh my god, man! Like, I saw you post that too. I was like, God, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. It's it's just incredible. Like they're so poignant and so like like part of like the zeitgeist right now. But they're also such catchy songs. They yeah. get stuck in your head. You're just like doing dishes, singing to Jeffrey Bezos. 